right, we're checking out the only game where the best selfie you can get is the one where you're being mauled by a wild animal. It's happy animals. One second into the game, doing a selfie while holding a giant piece of meat for a crocodile. Crocodile's looking straight at the camera. He's like, great, we both know what's going to happen here. Is that a human bone on the ground? I love that I'm playing a character with no survival. Whoa. <laughs> with no survival instinct. Go ahead, try it, try it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> this crocodile is going to want to murder me. All right, first meat, release to feed safely. What happens if I don't release? What if I just keep it here? How long will this zoom in for? Will it ever stop? Oh my God. I have tempted fate. I've held my hand here for like two minutes just to see if the game would kill me. It has not, so I'm going to go ahead and move back to safety. Okay, yeah, this crocodile and I are great friends, right? We got another one over here. No big deal. How about now you- Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I was so glad it happened! Is that a golf course in the background? <laughs> it looks like there's like a putting green, like this crocodile. <laughs> he's like a golfer in his spare time or something like that. I mean, he has no one to play with because he keeps on eating everyone. All right, so. Okay, so the, fir the first one was free. The ones after that, they will straight up kill you if you don't. Oh God! Uh, when did the crocodile turn like demonic? Did you see the demonic? Okay, there. Okay, good, we did it. <laughs> All right, this is supposed to be like an accurate representation at what it's like to work at a zoo. Wash the baby elephant. Oh my God, this elephant. Oh my God, this bird. I love that this elephant is like 80% eyeballs. Can I actually spray down the bird? It'd be amazing if you could- Oh! You can hit the bird! I'm so glad! Come here! <laughs> Alright, go go play with the bird. I put him on the ground there for you. Go ahead, go get him. Go get him, buddy. Here, look. The bird's right over there. Go, go get him. Over there. Oh, you're- I'm actually- I didn't know you were like a baby blue underneath all of the dirt. Can I like hit down the coconuts and stuff? This game had a lot more- Yeah, you can! This game has more interactivity than I ever imagined! Alright, alright, I'll clean the- Oh, nope, there goes the bird again. I love how the bird doesn't actually flap his wings, he just kind of levitates. He's like the Professor Xavier of birds. He just decides where he wants to levitate to and then he lands there. I love that this elephant dances when he's happy. These these animals are much more intelligent than normal animals, aren't they? Just chilling out over here by the llama enclosure. I was supposed to sort the, the animals, but oh, all right. I didn't know the llamas were quite so violent. The llamas beat up the lion, how? That's not the way things work in the natural, like, kingdom of animals. Is it gonna happen again? Are they just gonna- they just gang up on the lion. They just beat him to death. Now I'm kind of curious what happens if, like, one single llama goes into- okay, hold on. Here, go into the- go into the lion area. They need a little payback, all right? Uh, right, I don't know if they're eating him or they're beating him. Oh, he got away! He's so spry. And now the lions are just eating themselves. Okay, so one lion- into the, is this drool or is this like stone? One lion in the lion area. There we go. Throw a nice llama over here. The patented naked llamas, if you will. You can see they've they've already been shaved for all of their sweet llama wool. Also, one of the llamas just went like jumping over the. Yeah, they just go away. Why do we even put fences up? They don't do anything. <laughs> the animals just escape immediately. Control the head to catch food. Oh, that was actually easy. My, my head is really big. What if I miss? Oh, I, I basically can't miss. All right, how about, there we go. I can, if I have to, I can really try. Does it just keep like putting this stuff in the water? Does it just keep like building up? Like I'm just gonna have a giant, a giant mess of watermelon just chilling out in the water beneath me. Oh, there's only three. At that point, it goes away. At first, for, for a moment there, too, I thought I was just kind of eating the watermelon whole. It took me a moment to... <laughs> yeah, he's not even, like, swallowing any of the watermelon. He just crushes it up and then he spits it back in the water. Probably looks like blood in the water. All right, over here at the alpaca. Oh, I have to give him a haircut. It's an alpaca. So how do you... Is this... Oh. Okay. Can I get can I get a Y in there for a yeet? Yep, you sure can. There's the Y. So what happens if you, like, shave his head? Like, can I shave up here? I was just giving him a massage. I guess he just enjoys it. What are we doing with all this wool? I feel like he wouldn't be enjoying it this much either. He'd be like, you know how long it took me to get all that wool and you're just gonna go ahead and rip it off with a shaver? Oh, this is awesome. I only got like one, <laughs> one half of them. <laughs> Let me go ahead and shave your tongue. There you go, yeah, open up, open wide. <laughs> Look, you never know, all right? There we go. So happy. 
Eyes are 85 times the size of softballs. This alpaca can see 360 degrees. Run to bananas. Okay. I have to... Do I like, do I like knock these guys over? Oh, oh, I have to, I have to stack them. <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't. Oh, wow. You can, you can get, you can get all here. <laughs> there we go. Got like it. Oh. And here we are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we, we, we are stacked. Yes. Yes. All the bananas are mine. Well, they're most of mine. Half of my family went flying off the ledge. <laughs> they all fell to their deaths. Actually, monkeys are pretty agile, so maybe they're fine. Although these monkeys are like 60% head. Okay, clean the walkways. What has been going on over here? Also, <laughs> real quick, I feel I feel like we're torturing these animals because the enclosure for the alpaca, it's like two foot by four foot. This is like prison sentence stuff over here. Just big enough for him to lay down and do absolutely nothing else. So, whoa. Okay, what is powering this thing? Oh, I, okay, oh, it's get, getting away from me. Don't want to end up murdering the alpaca with this. Yeah, look at it. The, the hippo is inside of a kiddie pool. This is all he gets. It's like a 12 gallon pool. This is the type of, this is like an amount of water that you'd have for your betta fish. Prepare the animal feed. Was I, real quick, when, when that camera was down there, was, was I holding an eggplant? <laughs> Which animal's eating the eggplant? All right, so what do you do? Oh, oh, it's like Fruit Ninja. Okay, do I have to do I have to cut them more than once? Oh wow, you can cut them a lot of times. If you cut them, if you cut if you cut them before they hit the zenith of their jump, they don't even end. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh that banana just got cut like a hundred times. I hope you animals like bananas because that's pretty much the only thing I can hit with my cutting prowess. See, I like that these fruits are musical too. Where'd the eggplant go? All right, so I guess I have to give this gigantic plate of meats over to the lions. The problem is this angry crocodile's chilling out in the way. Now, if I, if I j <laughs> Hold on. I didn't know that you could actually like draw the path this guy will go. Oh yeah. Oh, it's happening. All right, so there you go. And there is the yeet path. And then after the yeet path is over, you go back over here and then kill yourself. So now here we go. This poor guy, he's like, what am I doing? Who would tell me to do this? That's Grace still plays. Just do what you're told. Go all the way through the yeet path and then please tell me you can completely get eaten. You have to be, right? All that for nothing. <laughs> I love that this crocodile had an entire giant plate of meat to eat and he still ate the zookeeper. So what happens if I don't put it there? What happens if I go around here? Can I go up here? Oh, I can't. I wanted to go up into the actual lion area. All right, kind of hug the shrub and then we'll, we'll leave it over here. That's not quite the path that was given to me. The path I thought was a little bit too simplistic, so I figured I'd give him a little bit more exercise. There you go. That is human meat, by the way, just FYI. Oh, so now I have to go across and not get murdered by this random guy using a wheelbarrow with absolutely nothing in it. So what if I run into it? If I just run into him, like, does it does it take me out or? Oh, I actually got past him. I didn't expect to do that. Sort the animal feed. Uh, into what? Okay, pull the pin. What does that do? Oh. Okay, do I, oh, oh, I just, I just hit that, <laughs> hit that elephant in the head with a bunch of watermelons. Oh, they're apples. Okay, so it's not, it's not that violent. Even if a couple, ooh, oh, there's a hole there. And now this elephant's going to starve to death. Okay, so pull this pin, then this pin, then this pin. Got it. It's like all those games where the king gets to have like the hot princess girl by pulling the right pins, except all I'm doing is hitting elephants in the head with apples. Pretty similar though, if you ask me. Throw pigs in the mud. What kind of World of Warcraft pigs are these? This is not what a pig looks like. This pig is radioactive. It's pink, like violently pink. Oh, is this like Angry Birds? Oh, wow. Okay, oh, holy. I didn't, all right, you know what? Yeah, sure, let's uh, like this. Boom, bing, bang. So he did get in the mud. Oh, he's sad about it. He didn't get enough mud. Right, so can, can I ricochet? Can I like ricochet one pig into another pig? Like if I do this, there we go. Yeah, see, he's a little, okay, now they're both just crying. I love how he's so injured too. Oh yeah, okay. And bam. All right, I got one out of three. One pig is happy. Okay, this one should actually be pretty easy because that pig is 
You know, he's looking straight at me, so there we go. Alright, he did not stay in the mud. The whole point of this was to stay in the mud. He did not. Can I actually split between the two here? Can I hit both of them? Oh, that's a one-two maneuver. Right there. That's like playing pool. Except instead of getting pool balls and pool holes, I'm using Dungeons and Dragons wild boars as like badminton shuttlecocks. Feed the crocodile. The last time I fed the crocodile, I got my arms ripped off. Where's my plate of food? Oh, you guys are just all here, aren't you? So if I put my arm out, is this one of those things? Yeah! Release to feed safety. Oh, I didn't want to release. Come on, I, we, we, we know how to do this. I want to get as many people bit as possible. Yeah! There we go! <laughs> I love that the crocodiles are just laughing. They're not even eating him. They're just like, like ah, what a loser. All right, go ahead, grab it. Whoop! Oh, that was a good try. Okay, try it again. There we go. How come only one crocodile gets to eat? What about these other two? Like, is this like, is this like the king crocodile? The other two crocodiles are just going to starve to death. I mean, they can dance all they want. The only thing that they're doing is burning more calories that they don't have because they never get fed. Help to quench thirst, okay? Is this like treated water or is this just right out of the tap? Because down here in Florida, this is just gonna taste like sulfur. Ah, you're a wild animal, I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, so what do I have to do? Help to quench thirst, do I grab it? This is a hardcore challenge. I actually had to turn my phone sideways in order to do this. Well, long ways, I guess. Here you go. Oh, I thought, I don't know. I don't know, I, I threw it at the elephant at like Mach 10 and he, oh, I, I'm gonna open something? I didn't know I get prizes for doing this. I even forgot I got paid. But yeah, the water was coming at him at like light speed and he seemed fine with it. Okay, so now I have to sort the animals, but now there's monkeys too. So wait, if the monkey goes in here with the lions, do they like try and beat him to death as well? Does he get away? Okay, he does get away. Fantastic. All right, so monkeys and alpaca, okay. All right here, you can go into the alpaca area. So the monkeys get on, get in on beating the lions to death as well. Oh, all I'm getting is monkeys right now. All right, there you go. Yeah, yep, everyone's dancing, everyone's happy. Now let's see. Now, last time I put a lion in here, it was like there were some felonies going on. There's a lot of people going to prison. Uh-huh, yep. Even the monkeys got in on it. Everyone just beat the lion to death. What happens to his body? Does it just stay there? Oh, he fades into nothing. Like, he dissolves like a creature that you beat inside of an MMO. Can I close this on a lion when they're going in? Like, can I close it, like, right now? Oh, you can't. It actually forces it to stay open. All right, we're 40% we're of the way towards something. I don't know what that is. Is that... Am I eating... Oh, oh my God! Why did why would you throw me an anvil? Okay, that that tasted good. I didn't know. I didn't think think that things were going to get so much more aggressive in the feeding area. All right, so now, oh wow, okay, yeah, I'm just out three at once. Why not? I'll catch all three. All right, sixty percent. All right, so now I have to clean the alpaca, but he's been playing around inside of the minefield over here. Why do you have morning star heads on you? Is that a branch? Have you been perforated by a branch? Okay. Oh, all right. I guess I gotta pick them out. Here we go. Yeah, that, that is a whole branch inside of that alpaca. Can you do yourself a favor and try and not get, you know, like skewered next time? All right, 80%. Steal the lion's meat. <laughs> okay, so how do I? Oh, no. Oh, wow, he just didn't care at all. You are a terrible lion. Like, you were looking straight at me. All right, so if I, if I do it, like, right now, what happens? Yeah, it's like I can't fail. Also, this... <laughs> There's no bars over here, or is this, like, what is happening? All right, what have I been putting my life on the line for? What does this get me? Oh, what? Uh, oh, how? Oh, okay. I don't know if this is more fun or not. I'm getting dizzy. I'm still trying to figure out what the fun wheel is. Oh, it gave me the power of teleportation. Now I'm not just a regular alpaca. I'm a mini alpaca. I'm a I'm a child alpaca. Okay. Oh yeah, see now they invested in a crane. There we go. Yeah, put the meat on the hook, then press the button. And see now there's no way I can get murdered here. Wow! Things are like the Megalodon over at Jurassic Park. Can I, does this meat go anywhere? Like, can I wear this meat? Can I like put up my head? Uh oh, oh, the meat's gone. That ain't good. Oh, luckily <laughs> the thin air provides me with more meat. Well, you know, I think I did actually something good in my life. I, I murdered so many zookeepers 
that they went ahead and installed a brand new way to feed the animals without anyone getting hurt. <laughs> hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Happy Animals. Till next time, stay foxy, a bunch of love.